Hello and welcome back to our channel. I am Farwa, and you're watching Ninja Iraqi Dinar News YouTube channel. Hopefully you all will be fine. Let's start today. News from Iraq continues to be very positive. The majority of my Iraqi contacts believe we will see an RV revaluation somewhere between now and the first. Remember that none of us know for certain what the timing is. I'm just telling you what they are feeling and hearing from inside their own country. These people are in banking and government. I think over the next few years, you'll start to see the Iraqi dinar slowly increase in value, little by little. It's hard to talk about where the dinar is going to be just because the United States isn't going to let those resources go, and Iraq can't stop getting in trouble, at least that's what we're told. This gentleman is fascinating. He's giving al-Sudani some kudos, but he's also poking him in the eye a little bit because if you remember, al-Sudani said and confirmed to his people more than once that the dinar is stronger than the dollar, and this guy gives a reality check, well, it's not today. He's not wrong at this moment in time, but the plan is to be stronger. Iraq is not going to come out at a 1,000 to 1 rate. They are going to come straight out of the gates to reinstate their currency, in my opinion, above a 1 to 1 rate. Because right now, Iraq has an inflation rate at 20%, and if they come out at 1,000 to 1 to start the float in removing the three zeros, they would be at a 40% inflation rate in their country. It makes no sense to come out at one to one. It would not accomplish what they are trying to do. When they should have released it at 1,000 to one, that would have worked instantly at that time. But they didn't. They stalled. Now there is just one rate. These are exciting times. Iraq continues to move forward to do what they can for the Iraqi people, improving more on the banking sector, trying to find ways to make their economy stronger. But these conflicts are causing huge delays and issues in Iraq, and we don't need that at this time. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe for more news videos.